"'Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a spider. Stockings were hung and their lockers with care and, and hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. Players were nestled all snug in their beds with visions of Mem Cup danced in their heads. And Guy in his kerchief and I in my cap had just settled in for a long winter's nap. When out on the ice there arose such a clatter, I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. The little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it wasn't Kenny, it was St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his cursors they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. On Budjo, on Hardy, on Joseph and Peyton, on Cormier, on Casey, on Johnson and Getson. To the top of the circle, to the top of the boards. Now skate away, skate away, skate away all. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my hand and was turning around down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in gear from his head to his foot, and his jersey was all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of sticks he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples how merry, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work. And he filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his bench, to his team gave a whistle, and the way they all skated, like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all, a good night.